Hey everyone, Matt Williams, Mr. Jumpy W. Welcome to today's short video where we are looking at getting the traffic overlay working in ForeFlight when you're connected to Pilot Edge. Now, if you haven't already done so, you will need to connect whatever device you're using to show ForeFlight and to use ForeFlight with Pilot Edge to the X plane or the simulator that you're using. There is a part one video to this that shows you how to go through those steps. I will drop a link to that down in the video description below so that you can do that. This one is going to focus purely on how to show pilot edge traffic on four flights on your device. I'm Matt Williams, Mr. MPW. Join us as we take to the skies in various flight simulators using different plugins, different technology, different things to learn how to fly safely and efficiently. Here we are then on the ground at Kingman Airport in Arizona where there are quite a few Pilot Edge aircraft around. Now I signed into the Pilot Edge network, opened up for flight, turned on the traffic overlay and nothing shows up on the for flight screen. So I've now closed down Pilot Edge. I'm going to make the iPad screen a little bit larger so that you get more of an idea of what's going on. And I'm going to walk us through the steps that we need to take to set up Pilot Edge to send the appropriate traffic overlay to for flight. First things first then, I'm going to open up my Windows Explorer and I'm going to go to my X-Plane folder which is this one in this case, then down to resources, then to plugins, then to pilot edge and finally into VS Pro resources. Now this is the file that we're going to change, VS Pro traffic relay and you can see here that it's a back file. Now then, what we need to do is change this to an INI file and in this case the easiest way to do it if you can't see that is to click on view in the file explorer and then click on file name extensions and here we can see that it's now vsprotrafficrelay.back. What I'm going to do is just highlight that, I ended up just double clicking very gently not to open the uh, file but to be able to change the file name and I'm now going to rename it to vsprotrafficrelay.ini. When you do that, you might get a warning to say that it might make the file unstable. Are you sure you want to change it? Click yes. And we can now see that that has become a VSPro traffic relay.ini and it's a configuration settings file. I'm now going to double click that. And if this is the first time you've done it, then you might be asked which program you want to open this file in. In my case, I'm using Notepad. Just use a text editor. So Notepad does work quite nicely. And then it's really straightforward. What we're going to do is take the IP address of the device that you're using to show the traffic and type that into here. Now, for those who aren't quite sure, it's a really simple thing to find. If you watch what I do on the iPad screen now, I'm going to go down to more in the bottom right corner. I'm going to click on Devices to bring up the Devices screen and I'm now going to click the small i in the top right corner of the screen. That then tells me that the IP address of this device is 192.168.1.20. I can now go back to the map page on there and that IP address that you see in that information box is what we want to pop into here. 192.168.1.20. I'm going to save that file I can now close those down, go back into um, X-Plane in this case, I'm going to load up Pilot Edge, so I'm going to connect to the network, and if you've done all of the steps correctly, Pilot Edge will then obviously load all of the aircraft in around you, and as you can see on the screen here, we've now got that traffic information. Occasionally when you do this reset, you'll find that no traffic shows up, and that's sometimes because depending on which version of um, for flight you're using it turns off the traffic overlay when you add that new information into it so there we go hopefully a useful walkthrough and guide as to how we show that traffic in for flight from pilot edge it's all about altering that file if you've got any problems or questions please drop those down in the comment section below more than happy to help out or go and check out the Pilot Edge Discord server, which again, I will drop a link to down below. There is a tech support channel in there where the Pilot Edge team and all of the users who are on that Discord channel are more than happy to help. Please don't forget, if you found the video useful, give it a thumbs up, press that thumbs down button twice if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, press that bell button next to the subscribe icon to stay up to date with all of the information like this that we've got coming all the time. I've been Matt Williams, I'll see you in the next one. Fly safe and blue skies.